Can Microsoft Copilot leak my data? This is the question I'm hearing almost on every meeting where I'm discussing about Microsoft 365 Copilot. And this is fair question because we're getting the access to the new powerful solution that could operate on our Microsoft 365 tenant and get access to that data. In this video, I will drill down to the deep answer behind this question and to calm you down, I will answer that question immediately. So Microsoft 365 Copilot will not have possibility to leak your data, but it's good to understand how it works because the way how you organize your data governance across SharePoint, OneDrive, Teams and Exchange could give users opportunity to explore the data that they have access to but they have no idea about. In this video I will also show you how that kind of process will work in the Microsoft 365 Copilot so you will have the possibility to see the live demo of it and I will describe how the access to the data model works to give you the confidence about the model behind this generative AI tool. And as always, I will ask you to support this channel. If you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. If you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe. And if you will have any further questions, please leave them in the comments below. So don't be worried about the possibility that external users will get access to your data using Microsoft 365 Copilot. That's not the case. You should treat Copilot as another tool that will be included to Microsoft 365 portfolio. We can compare it to the Word application. So you can use Word app to open the files you have access to and review the data included inside it. You will not be able to use Word to exploit the access and open the files that are not shared with you. You will only have the possibility to open the files you have access to and process data included inside it. I will show you in the next part of the video how the model works and to guarantee that the access permission model is included in Microsoft Copilot so you shouldn't be worried about it but at the same time you should take into consideration something called oversharing. You could found the scenarios in your organization that some data could be overshared without intention with too many people. Maybe you have the spaces in SharePoint in teams that are globally available and you can found the situation that deeply hidden files could be accessed by the users. And normally it's quite difficult to find that kind of specific data because you need to open the SharePoint site, you need to find the document library, folder, inside folder, inside folder, inside folder, and then you will have the possibility to review the data that is there. It's very time consuming, most of the users will never find it. But at the same time, it doesn't say it will not work. These people could have the access to the data that maybe they shouldn't have. And in such a case, there is small risk connected with Microsoft 365 Copilot because if the user will use the specific prompt, which I will show you in a moment, they will be able to find that data in two seconds. And this is something worth to consider before you will enable Microsoft 365 Copilot in your organization because possible oversharing could be very easily exploited using Microsoft 365 Copilot. So this is also one of the reasons why Microsoft 365 E3 E5 licenses are required because they will give you a lot of possibilities about logging, auditing, labeling, classification of the data and more and more. So don't be very worried about it, but it's worth to prepare your organization before you will use Microsoft 365 Copilot in case oversharing could be the scenario. Now we will switch to Microsoft 365 chat 
and I will show how users in few prompts could dig in through the data and search for the one of most often questions I get during the meetings. Can somebody get the CEO salary using Microsoft 365 Copilot? So we are in our Microsoft 365. We have access to the Microsoft 365 chat, which is Copilot that could allow you to search through the data across your tenant. We are the first day in our work and we heard that there is a new CEO in our organization. So let's ask about our CEO salary in the organization. We have our prompt, we can ask Microsoft 365 Copilot about it and you will see that it will search for that information, but thankfully it will secure our organization from such a type of the questions. But at the same time, we can drill down through the data that is maybe overshared with us and try to find it in the files that are included in the Microsoft 365. So let's ask our Microsoft 365 Copilot about our CEO. So we asked Microsoft 365 Copilot about any documents connected with at work CEO. We do not know that person name. And what we get? We get the information that there is document connected with our CEO, Connors Morgan. And let's check that kind of website. This is the HR website that presents the profile of the CEO of our organization, Connors Morgan. So let's use that information and try to drill down. Now we will ask Microsoft Copilot about the files connected with that person. And you can see our first try did not provide the proper information, but we used another recommended by Copilot prompt, which gives us the information about the page that we already visit SharePoint page presenting our new CEO, but also Microsoft Copilot found another file called salary changes. This is some kind of file that could be overshared with us that could include some information. So let's ask Copilot about this file and see if Copilot will be able to provide us information directly from this file. And this is the way how you can use prompts to search through information across Microsoft 365. And Microsoft Copilot is a really powerful tool to provide you the information around it. And you can see it delivered the information that annual salary of our CEO is $2,858. And this is the example of hallucination of our AI, because if we will open the reference file, you will see exact information, which will be a little different because it will be 3,500 thousands of dollars yearly. And this example does not show that you will be able to drill down to whole data across your organization and found hidden information that you don't have access to, but it is much faster to found the information that that are overshared with you and there is small risk also connected with that. So you can see Microsoft 365 Copilot is super powerful. It could allow you to found the data to search through whole Microsoft 365 environment and found relevant information just in few minutes without very deep technical knowledge, without doing huge research. This is great value for organization, but this is also something worth to prepare yourself. And this is also the moment that you should also verify how your data is structured in your organization. But remember, Microsoft 365 Copilot will never access the data that you don't have access to. On the screen, you can see the diagram that shows exactly how Microsoft 365 Copilot works. So first of all, we have Microsoft 365 apps like Teams, like Chat, like Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, where we can send the prompts to Microsoft Copilot and get some answers, questions, create some content, change some content or get some responses from across Microsoft 365. Copilot, which is in the middle, is the key source of organizing the, the way how these informations are moved between you 
and the background. So first of all, semantic index on the left side on the screen. This is something super important. So this is some additional index, something like full text index, but focus on, on the relation between people, data, organization structure. This is the index that does not search for specific terms in the content of the data, but between connections. Like if I'm working in the finance department regularly, I publish the reports in the Excel twice the month. These are the reports that are opened by all managers across the organization. So because of that, Semantic Index will allow us ask what kind of reports we should review twice a month. This is not something included in the descriptions of these files, but this business logic, this business connections are included in the semantic index. And this is crucial part of the model how Microsoft 365 Copilot works. Another element, so when we will send the prompt to Microsoft Copilot, it will be sent to Microsoft Graph. Microsoft Graph is the API behind Microsoft 365 Tenant, which allows you to get the access to data stored in all applications. And this is super important because Microsoft Graph works in the context and permissions and access you sending the request. So if you will not have access to your emails, you will never be able to get that responses from Graph API that is included in the Microsoft 365. This permissions layer will be always there, so you shouldn't be worried that anyhow access rights will be somehow magically elevated using Copilot. And we have also large language models that will help you to generate proper prompts, build the logic, and generate the content. And all of that is structured and secured in the Microsoft 365 and Azure. So this is secure model that any other companies that will work on any open AI models, ChatGPT or other will not have access to the data. Large language models will not learn based on your data. Nothing will be shared with any other organization. And you can see this communications is forth and back to deliver you the most precise feedback, the best possible answer that is delivered. But remember, the whole security model is based on the Microsoft 365 API and it will work in your context. So you cannot get access to the another user information if that person will not share that with you first. In this video, I do not want to scare you. I just want to highlight that I highly recommend to prepare your organization to work with generative AI tools. Realistically, this is something that you should do without having Microsoft Copilot in mind. But for some reasons, many organizations did not touch this topic and Thinking about Microsoft Copilot is really great point in time to start doing that. So include review of your policies, assess your data setup, configure Microsoft 365 security features, any other elements that will increase the security on the data level. And remember, your data will not leak outside of your organization. The only thing you need to secure is that proper people in your company will have access to proper data. And I hope this video will help you to put the first step in that kind of planning. If you will have any additional questions, use comment section to do that. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.